Hi guys, it's Katie. So we have done college town restaurants. We have done Ithaca restaurants. We've done sweet, guilty pleasures. Today, we're going to do drinks. I just graduated from Cornell this year after four years of studying here. So I have explored so much of the food scene. And recently when I turned 21, I started to explore the wineries, cideries, breweries, bars. Just, it's so rich here in Ithaca. And I can finally see why the Finger Lakes area where Ithaca is, is a huge tourist destination. And a lot of people like honeymooning here or retiring here. Okay, quick, quick rundown of our tier system. S is superior. So these are my favorite like must go places. A tier is really good value. B tier is all right value. C tier is a campus favorite, but not mine. So I wouldn't go here out of the way, but if a friend suggested it, sure. D tier is meh, like I would not go back. Like I have not gone back since I've gone and E tier is I've never tried it. So without further ado, let's jump into this. As you can see here, we have four categories. The first is bars. These are mostly in College Town, downtown within a 15 minute walk. Then we have wineries, which by the way, this is not an extensive list. I just chose a few. There are so many and I'm still exploring them throughout the year. So, you know, maybe in a year's time, I will do a full ranking video with just wine. Just kidding. I probably won't drink that much. Then we have cideries and breweries. So starting with level B. Level B is iconic at Cornell. It is known for fishbowl Wednesdays for which I have participated in. It's a senior tradition where people go to this bar called Level V in College Town and you drink out of these fish bowls with like five or six other friends. They also give you these dinosaurs in every bowl and a lot of people keep those dinosaurs as souvenirs. So 10 out of 10 would recommend coming here for a fun night. I think it, it's a good place if you go with people, go with a lot of people who will drink because the times I've gone with like my girlfriends and this was just like a few of us, like two or three, like we could not finish a fish bowl. But when I went with like six guys like we needed multiple <laughs> hideaway i've never tried but a friend put it this way like what you see is what you get smaller bar like people just sit it's more for talking i think but uh from what i heard i'm not really missing much by not going here because of some other bars which we're going to get to which are better and that includes region i was gonna be like i don't remember much about region but then i was like maybe it's because i finished my two drinks very quickly so i'm gonna put it uh in the a tier and I think Regent is really cool because it is a lounge in Cornell's hotel. There is a hotel on campus at Cornell that students help run and manage. So my, one of my friends worked here. I love seeing him every time. I've only been once, but I think it's a good vibe. And it's so convenient because it's right on campus. Argos is S tier. This is arguably like everyone hands down, I think agrees that Argos is the best bar. It's downtown Ithaca, but you can walk from College Town maybe like 10 or 15 minutes away. It kind of feels like a speakeasy because on the outside, it kind of looks like a construction house. And then you go in, it's like, it's actually so cool. And you're like, whoa, like you go through a hallway and everything. And then there's a nice lounge space and there's also like backyard area it's a really good bar i've had really great memories at argos and i think this is my go-to bar watershed i've been once but <laughs> it's so dumb but my friend and i drank tea at watershed so i don't think my experience is very credible i'm just gonna say i never tried it because i don't think it's fair to drink tea um at a bar and be able to rank it but from friends i have heard that this is a good bar the range I really like because of the salsa dancing. Not necessarily because of the drinks, but I'm gonna put in B tier for that. I, there's like a $10 entry fee if I remember correctly, but they have salsa dancing on Wednesdays and I brought my friends. I, I really wanted to go, so I was like, yo guys, like let's come check out this bar on a Wednesday night. And since we were seniors, we, people were, were down. Uncle Joe's D tier. I am also not a big beer person, but the vibe of Uncle Joe's is it's mostly a lot of like older people, more, uh, it's also farther into Ithaca, so you can tell that it's more locals who go here. And it's like a sports bar. There were just so many TV screens with like, you know, sports games going around. And that's not my vibe personally, so that's why I put a D tier. Uh, the Westies I also went recently. It's a very, it's a kind of similar vibe to Uncle Joe's, except it's smaller and there's a really gorgeous outdoor place. I think I went there and I got a ginger beer because I wasn't feeling like drinking. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, I go to all these bars, but I don't drink anything. So <laughs> D tier. But then again, I got a ginger beer there. So I'm not really sure I'm the best to judge this. Okay, let's get into the wines because I actually have so much to say about these ones. Herman J. Weaver is the best. I have heard about it. I think we tried this in the wines class uh, that I took at Cornell and I see this everywhere in wine stores and then for my graduation weekend uh, I went with my family to the actual vineyard and it like 
it, it, there's this really fantastic line that it, it's my absolute favorite it's like the joseph vineyard 2020 vintage riesling but it's just so i can't even describe how amazing it was like it's obviously s tier this is just so popular that when i went to new york city one of my friends i think had just gotten like a mixed selection of top wines and this was one of them that was in there and i was like oh my gosh dr constantine frank was surprisingly disappointing i had really high expectations for this because in wines class i would learn that dr constantine frank was this pioneer in viticulture in ithaca and he had made the region like the finger lakes region known for wine it actually got new york as a winemaking region on the radar whereas before it was like i don't know mostly like european countries that were leading it i i got to go to the vineyard also in graduation and literally like nothing stood out i don't want to be harsh but like i kind of think it was a v tier because it was still good of course but it just wasn't wow and also because i went to herman g weimer first i was like my mind was just blown constantly i just didn't live up to what Herman G. Weimer was. I don't know, that's just my take. Maybe I just didn't find the right wine, you know? Like, they have a lot. There was a good, like, Salmon Run Coho Rosé, I think. But aside from that, it, it wasn't- that was pretty good. But aside from that, nothing like wow. Okay, Six Mile Creek, I would say, is a campus favorite. This is, like, the easiest vineyard to get to, by the way, because it's 10 minutes away from campus and it's within an uber right away and also a bus ride away so a lot of people especially if you don't have cars will like to go to six mile creek because it's really convenient it's accessible compared to a lot of these wineries and there was a good pinot noir that i got a pinot there was a good pinot noir 2021 vintage that i got from my dad and he liked it catherine valley winery i have not been here but from what my friends have said is the place where everybody takes their instagram photos and has a view of the lake i think a lot of frats or student orgs when they do wine tours they will do it at catherine valley winery okay cideries now this i'm so excited to talk about because i have never had cider before i think i didn't even know cider was a thing imagine like you know if wine is made from grapes cider is the equivalent but made with apples and it's a big apple place so i have gone to try these two ciders which actually both are fantastic this is kind of hard to rank actually okay let's start with this south hill cider is a tier i have had i've gone to south hill cider twice and i've had a good experience with both the cider i really like there is called the goldwyn they also have some dessert ciders or ice ciders which again is the equivalent of ice wine or like dessert wine but apples i drank it and it just warmed my, <laughs> my like heart the two i really like are the ice cider and the pomo apple mixed with brandy i love it and you know what finger lake cider house oh the thing is cider house they have a much wider selection than south hill ciders they were the ones that i first tried that got me into ciders and i really like the honey o fruit of the bloom i really like this because it had more asian flavors it had ginger and i love ginger and they also had a good rosé i would put it in a tier because they were honest they were both really good and i'm definitely gonna go back to finger lake cider to try their dessert ciders but as of this video i have not tried them all right now we're down to the last two breweries so i I don't like beer. Let me just say I don't like beer. So, okay, well, I'm like, my roommate let me try Blue Moon recently and it was actually pretty good. That said, Ithaca is still known for having a lot of breweries. Actually, there is another beer that I really like and that's Liquid State. So I'm going to put Liquid State as A tier just because they have a beer that I actually like. And I think that's pretty rare. And that beer was called the Yard Lion Hefeweizen. Sorry for my pronunciation. Ithaca Beer Co. Recently they opened on campus, so it's so accessible. And from what I've heard, people really like the apricot wheat and the sour series. So the sour, I think it has a bunch of fruity flavors like blueberry sour, mango sour. That I think was pretty good. It wasn't like amazing just because I thought it kind of tasted like juice at this point. Their most popular one though is called Flower Power. I personally did not like Flower Power. I thought it was really strong and really bitter. Um, Because I'm a beer newbie, I tend to like the sweeter ones. I think even, you know, even when I started drinking wine, I was like, I like the sweeter ones. I didn't like any of the dry ones, but you know, now the dry ones have grown on me. So for that, I will put Ithaca Beer Co. in B tier. It's also just a really nice hangout place. And I talked about this in my ranking college town restaurants video. People also just like going to Ithaca Beer Co. to chill. And if you don't like beer, they also have cocktails like the Moscow Mule, which is always a good one. Well, there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there are any you are now eyeing, make sure to add this on your Google Maps, put it down on a 
bucket list add it to your bucket list and make sure to tell a friend that you want to go so you guys can actually make it happen screenshot this if it helps so that you can look at the rankings because i definitely recommend you check out the s and a tier recommendations i think this is so unique about the finger lakes region that we have access to so many wineries cideries breweries and local flavors if you haven't already check out my previous food guide videos because we've done college town restaurants ithaca restaurants last week we did sweet guilty pleasures so like the ice cream and dessert scene and i soon am going to do a top tier restaurants video it will come soon i just want to wait for a few restaurants i haven't tried yet but i am going to try soon because there are a bunch of celebrations happening and i'm like yo let's go to these restaurants so that will probably be the last but if there are any other food guide videos you want me to do that I have not yet done in this series, then please comment it below. I would love to make it happen. And till then, I hope you have an amazing week. I love you and I hope you're taking care. See y'all soon. Bye. Mm.